from a family of engineers. Um, grandfather started an engineering business, so always been around engineering. At 16, decided that uh, school had had enough of school, so decided to go and do a BTEC diploma in computer-aided engineering, really. Like using computers, like using sexy things like computer-aided design software. And uh, that was the course that had got some of that content in it. We did some small projects where we made a mini steam engine, so a variety of things. There was, like I say, quite a bit of maths involved, some report writing. We did um, material science, learning about how materials chemically um, are made, um, what the microstructure of materials is like. And along the way, we got to go on um, IT equipment to, to do engineering drawing and, and start and play with three-dimensional drawings of, of components. Um, the course content was right for me, and at that point I felt I was more grown up than, uh, than staying at school, so it, it fit perfectly well for myself. I got my hands dirty with an overall on and uh, learned how to program machines, how to set machines up, uh, how to measure so that we could see that the components were accurate. You need to have some of that base level knowledge of how parts get made. If you've just gone the educational route, then sometimes that's difficult for you to understand and grasp. If you've actually been out on the shop floor and done the educational route, then you've got the best of both sides, in my opinion. Um, I've travelled I've traveled to many different countries. I've been to China. Um, I really enjoyed China as a country. I didn't really enjoy the food at all. When people are trying to feed you chicken's feet, um, that's not necessarily what we're used to. Um, and Coronation Street wasn't really available over there of a night time, so uh, China was quite, uh, quite a, a culture shock. Uh, like I said, I've been here 12 months um, and responsible for all aspects of making final drive units, uh, power takeoff units that end up in some military vehicles and end up in commercial vehicles. One of the final, final drive units that we make. Um, the government have just ordered more and more. We've built around about 150 vehicles worth. If you see pictures on TV of a armoured vehicle with gun turrets on the top and driving across country, chances are it's got our axles on it and it's called the Jackal. Probably around the £40-50 pounds a week mark um, as, as initially starting out, maybe a pound an hour for all the 40 hours that you did that week which when you look back now, that seems quite, uh, quite low, and I think modern apprentices get more than that. So I have moved companies every three, four, five years if I've needed to, and traditionally gone to a, a better job paying more money, up to the point now where I'm not on the same salary as Wayne Rooney, but I get paid well for, uh, for, for what I do and lead a, a reasonably comfortable lifestyle.